Definitely uh, something to be relished by us here on the production side of things. We hope that you're relishing it just as much at home as Suarez and Sensei get into it. Pokemon Stadium 2 for game number one. Yeah, it is going to be the aforementioned Snake versus Yoshi here between these two. So, you know, curious to see how it is going to shake out for Sensei. Like we saw in, you know, earlier matches between whether it was, uh, you know, Miles or... Uh, or Suarez on stream, depending on, on the Yoshi. You know, Yoshi, so good at controlling space in the air, and Snake really can't get away with, you know, patented Snake things in this matchup, i.e. recovering high, and, uh, you know, uh, camping can be a little bit of a pain because Yoshi does have, uh, you know, the, the eggs to play alongside with the grenades, and the grenades, uh, that being said, grenades do, uh, you know, uh, crack the eggs on 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 impact, so they're not gonna be a, a huge factor here, but, you know, we'll see how it shakes out here for, uh, for Sensei. Oh, just throwing out all the items. Hey, you want to try to jump in, you're more than welcome to, but it's going to be an explosive impact. And Suarez says, hey, this F smash, it's a little explosive as well. Good jab lock to set it up, and what a way to draw first blood in this best of three clip. Yeah, great awareness. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, the missed tech from, uh, from Sensei. Oh, no, not, the, not a double egg lay. Please. Oh, my gosh. We, how many times are we going to see these shenanigans from Suarez? Like, how many? Is this, is this what we're coming back into? Was I lured back into offline to see Suarez pull this nonsense? I think I, I signed up for it, I think. Maybe. Nonetheless, though. I don't know what I signed up for, quite <laughs> frankly, as we're going to keep on going. And back air into grenade. Egg lay yet again. Not going to get the, the pop-out knockout, but, yeah. Uh, this is peak Suarez right here, isn't it? Yeah, and you see, uh, since I try to get the stock off, and unfortunately, not going to get that opportunity. Uh, you know, as of right now, the up tilt into the up air will combo uh, for Yoshi, and again, a lot of uh, you know close quarters combat. Everybody kind of coming up just a hair short, uh, you know, on on their killing blows. Uh, the up tilt though will finally land. Uh, you know, great uh, reaction there from Sensei. So gets himself on the board here. Uh, definitely not out of it. Snake's a character that can really get themselves back in the fold of things if the, uh, you know, if the grenades fall right. Nerds, geeks, and gamers, Sensei trying to make their way back into this one. They do not have a whole lot of room with which to work, especially when those eggs keep finding the mark like that. Just catching these landings so perfectly, Sensei timing out that down B perfectly. But yeah, pop them up and knock them out. That up smash is going to take it. And Suarez looking like they found their comfort zone here into the Akuma pose for game <laughs> number one oh, to man. the dinosaur. I forgot about that. That is, oof, that's rough stuff. As, like we mentioned, if you guys are not, uh, you know, to have us both on, uh, you know, on multiple streams open, you know, you're missing out on some great stuff. On the other stream, we're going to have, uh, you know, as we got Space Station Gaming Leon going up against Nixie uh, on uh, Collision Smash right now. It's great stuff, man. The, the hits are going to keep on coming, man. Yeah, one way or another. I mean, people uh, getting knocked out one way and, uh, and the next up, down, everywhere. And certainly uh, a Falcon-Bowser matchup going to have its share of heavy hits. Yoshi and Snake. Well, providing plenty of fireworks in of itself as we go for game number two on Small Battlefield. Do you like this counter pick from Sensei? Yeah, I think any sort of space you can use to control, you know, where Yoshi is, uh, it's definitely going to, you know, benefit you having, you know, a, a tighter blast zone off the side. You know, uh, and again, the, the lengths from platform to... Uh, uh, to ledge, it, it you know gives Snake maybe a little bit less area to cover if he chooses to, uh, if he gets stuck on the ledge. So we'll see how it shakes out right now. As he's uh, Sensei's gotten off to a really solid start here, but since uh, uh, Suarez answering back with authority, almost evening it up. Ex looking a little scrambled right now. Not really sure. Sensei is going to scramble them even further and. Got to crack a few of these things to make an omelet. Sensei look cooking right now in the center of the stage. Suarez being forced to play around Sensei for the first time. All right, as you see, you know, both players kind of taking a step back. You know, Snake getting those grenades out in front of him. Obviously, grenades being a huge part, uh, you know, of the defense and the offense uh, for Snake. But right there, uh, unfortunate grenade explosion going to put Sensei in, into disadvantage and. Able to at least reset it back to neutral for the time being. As Suarez is still, you know, lurking for this kill. And finally lands it once again. Up tilt to up air. The ultimate, you know, uh, you know in, uh, in equalizing things. And right now putting Suarez ahead. 
Oh, not going to be the uh, not going to be the up tilt that we were uh, perhaps anticipating, but nevertheless, good damage. The egg lay. Sensei, right now, I mean, they've been doing pretty much everything right, but Yoshi being so survivable makes this a problem matchup. Eventually, that up tilt will take stock number one, but you shouldn't be looking at a Yoshi at like 90% and thinking, oh, great, I'm halfway there. That's yeah. not exactly a win condition. Yeah, it's it's rough, man. You know, Suarez has done such a great job uh, putting on as much extra credit on these stocks as, as humanly possible, and it makes a big difference. You know, characters like Snake uh, are, are really good at you know generating offense quickly, and, and the lead can very uh, quickly slip away from you if you're not paying attention. Uh, so Suarez has done a really good job just controlling the pace of the match, and since they really hasn't been able to, you know, uh, generate, you know, uh, crazy strings of offense. Oh, geez, Suarez stamping out that second stock, and Sensei, oh, the gamer leans so deep, barely on camera anymore. <laughs> and uh, the, the things that you miss about offline, you know, they yeah. seem so innocuous at first, but, you know, this might be playing for pride. We don't know, but at the same time, Suarez showing that they are someone you really don't want to be trifling with all that much. Sensei's been having a rough time trying to play around this dinosaur, and who could blame them? This was uh, a dinosaur worthy of the PGR, in fact. Yeah, no, uh, absolutely. The up tilt there will catch and just sneak it into the first row of seats. Uh, Suarez is at just a high enough percent for that to work. But again, still maintaining uh, maintaining this lead. Suarez has done a good job just kind of, you know, kicking back, throwing eggs, not really, uh, you know, super over committing to anything. And once again, up tilt to up air has been a huge X factor in the set for, uh, you know, for Yoshi. The fact that it just reaches out ever so slightly, it's just annoying enough for, uh, for it to work. And not going to get the C4 explosion. Shielding the eggs. Sensei doing a little bit of a better job of playing around those eggs, parrying it even. You don't get as much uh, parrying off of meaties in this or indeed any fighting game, but good spot dodge by Suarez. Going to have to dictate how uh, the snake plays with its hands and feet as well. Suarez going to be looking for this killing blow and try to go home with a win. Sensei not going to let that happen all that easily. Going to be oh! looking for the up tilt, the short hop, faking something, and then Sensei jukes him right out of their seat. That's going to be one all as we go into game number three. Yeah, you see the nod of approval from Sora. It's like, yeah, man, all right, you got me. You know, as we see the, the down throw, uh, you know, confirmed for Snake and the up tilt doesn't start being true until 160. But Snake still has a lot of mix-up opportunities there depending on what option your opponent chooses. And, uh, you know, great awareness there from uh, Sensei to react to the get-up attack uh, and then have just enough time to get the up tilt out. So, tied at one game apiece, not going to go out without a fight. Nobody wants to go over threes, too, like I said. Like, mm -hmm. it hurts. It stings a little bit. Yeah, but then again, going 0 3 when your competition is people like Suarez, Leon, Nick right, C, yep. where, by the way, drawn up at one apiece, you see there. For the record, those two are both at 1 and 0. Oh, so, this could be, they could be playing for some significant bracket positioning here. Yeah, no, absolutely. Like I said, we're getting into the point where, you know, tiebreakers might become a thing. So every game. When are uh, that one ostensibly moves on, though? Yeah, yep. Yeah, we're getting to the point where people are, are qualifying now. So we're, we're getting into the meat of the of the bracket here for sure, Stu. As we're going right back to Pokemon uh, Stadium 2 here. So, and right now, uh, looking pretty even across the board. And, uh, you know, again, it's been a lot of the same. Suarez has been doing a great job just controlling center stage. And Sensei's done a really good job playing inside out. So. Shielding? I mean, hey, you know, shielding Yoshi's buttons, generally a good idea. So we're going to move on and see, yeah, dash attack from uh, Sensei. Finally able to get in close enough to where dash attack can really become a thing. Looking for that tech chase. However, Suarez rolls straight out of the way, and it's going to be an up air that winds up finishing it off. A pretty closely contested stock number one, but maybe Snake dies just a little bit sooner than Yoshi, as survivable as Snake may be. Again, one thick dinosaur. Yeah, again, the dur the durability on these stocks for Sensei. I'd love to know what the average like percent lived uh, is if that was a you know a stat that you know I'm sure someone could look up and do the math for. But down throw to up tilt will get the job done uh, for Sensei. So you know to benefit to him, you know Snake does have an option to even, you know a confirmed option to even things up nicely. So oh. get up attack. And Suarez gonna keep Sensei on their toes just a little bit. 
And in evenly contested game number three, I mean, Sensei finally finding their footing. Some might say that they left it late, but yeah. honestly, I call it building suspense. <laughs> All right, good grab once again from Sensei. Oh. Not getting the tech roll uh, read in, though, as uh, Suarez immediately, uh, you know, rolls away. Going right back to the egg game, you know, wanting no part of engaging up close with Snake because it is, of course, very dangerous. You can be playing a game, uh, you know, worth your life. Oh. Does however get the egg, not getting the pop out yet again. I mean, Suarez is going to hit it one of these times, right? You have to think. And you saw Sensei once again try to read uh, a get up attack by going for the empty hop, but doesn't matter anyway. Still gets the up tilt at the end of the day as, uh, you know, Sensei now the one in the lead here. So Suarez uh, on, again, his uh, potential final stock here. Not potential final stock, it is his final stock. Yeah, what absolutely. I mean, this is uh, make or break time as Sensei has been doing so well to bring this back. Suarez was dictating the pace of the game uh, for the first two of these. Now Sensei finally uh, making the dinosaur play around their plans. Now here we go. One stock apiece. Sensei and Suarez. A little bit more than pride on the line here as the up airs start to come out from Suarez. Old reliable. They've, uh -oh. It's going to get to Killian at some point. Suarez having to be very careful here. Gets oh, the, the order! Smash. That almost killed him. Once again, Sensei gets oh. a grab. Oh, my God. That was uh, aspirational from Sensei, yeah. shall we say. The distance may be not quite correct, but nevertheless, it's going to get that egg lay. Looking for any sort of back air to get that done, but you run into the boot, and a little bit of sweet chin music will play Suarez off the stage as Sensei takes it 2-1. to one. Yeah, you saw Suarez get really close on that 